Welcome to the Rochester vlog. This is called Matisse Goes Camping. Good, good morning, Matisse. We're starting the Rochester vlog. Oh, yeah, we're gonna go up and over this little mountain range because uh, yeah, there's a major traffic jam, and Matisse loves. We love. We love mountain passes in the van. Yeah, I really loves it. And it, Caleb told me that I had to swear less in the vlog, so I'm gonna have to find some new adjective, man. <laughs> Please, learn me some stuff, guys. Comment your new favorite adjectives for Matisse in the comments below. <laughs> we made it to Rochester. We're here with Mr. Andy Dietz, who uh, loves empty bikes. And you might remember from the vlogs last year, Mm. But we're doing a little morning. Wait, no. It's like 6 o'clock. It's not a morning span, it's an evening span. Uh, morning plus 12. Yeah, yeah. Anyways, oh. spin, dinner, drive is done. We're in Rochester. Woo! Big big elf guy. Matisse, Matisse stretches. He stretches now. And exercises, it's true. Dude, I slept on the floor, but man, what do you think? I you gotta just stretch it out, just stretch it out. No mattress. <laughs> Alrighty, we're out here in uh, what Andy calls apple country. Lake Ontario is just over there. We have a ripping tailwind and uh, yeah, getting the miles done. It's definitely not the Blue Ridge Parkway, but it's pretty, quiet, and I'm outside. I'll take it. I survived my ride. I went for a run, and uh, now Matisse, what are we making? Uh, spicy Cheetos. No, no, no. Where it's cultural uh, enrichment time for you. Mexican food. It's Wednesday, September twenty-first. We made some pancakes. Now I'm rolling over to the Rochester course. Matisse is gonna meet me there with the A bike. We're gonna hit some cross scale. As I'm riding over to course. I want to remind you, YouTube people, that you can watch full replays from last weekend and live racing this weekend and next here in Rochester and then Baltimore. I have lots of people who are pretty surprised to hear that there are full live streams and replays. So this is your reminder to go watch these things on GCN with drones, commentators, infographs, everything, the whole nine yards. Like this, just like you watch a race in Europe. Like we have this in the United States. All right, Mat Matisse reacts, sushi burrito. So you're mixing like Mexican and Japanese food? Yeah, but there's mayo in it. Okay, so American, Mexican, and Japanese food. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a big sushi roll. It's a strange mix. <laughs> Look at this American in his pickup truck. We're going for the Wegmans experience. Oh. Here's a running car. Want to grab that, Matisse? Yeah, it's uh, Thursday the 21st. I'm out here in Arondacoy Park going for my spin. Yeah, it's a little more climbing than I meant to do, but what a beautiful urban park. Super peaceful, super quiet, and good escape from sending emails on this rest day. No, no, we're not going to pretend that it's the first time we opened okay, it. Okay, okay, okay. Let's yeah. do this. Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, <laughs> oh this is. Hey. I don't know, but in all seriousness, third bike is here. Um, then third I'll have bike, part of it. Part of a third bike. Wait, we got all the other parts of the third bike. They know what I mean. Okay, okay, Paul. Ma Matisse wants to specify third frame and components. Yeah. We're going to build this puppy up, then we'll have A, B, and C bikes. It says uh, sport time. I'm going to wear my <laughs> brand new sport shoes. Oh, yeah, they smell so good. <laughs> yeah. No relation to the deodorant on the feet incident earlier in the week. <laughs> feet are a little smelly, so <laughs> Take my uh, my gel. Oh, real orange, they say. Yeah, uh, yeah. This is a Matisse's gel. It's a Mister Freeze, yeah. also known as a popsicle. Yeah. But yep. Uh, Mister Freeze is the real name. Yeah, at least in Matisse Canada. Is on, a, on a fitness kick these days. So stretching. Yeah, he st he does stretch. He actually stretches. I showed you. Yeah, I think I showed I'm you. I'm not that. able to sleep because my back <laughs> hurts too much. <laughs> oh my god. Boomer. It's because I know that all falls I'm with you. So like, what's the purpose to train for doing no race? Like, I that's don't... why you don't. You're not in shape. It's my fault. 
No, but the fact that I'm working every single weekend during the <laughs> year, so no racing means that like, ah, it's not worth it to train every day, eat well, shave my legs. Now Matisse is gonna acquire some fitness, um, and you're gonna eat his um his my, gels. That's my fruit portion for the day. Yeah. Which one? Uh, which fruit it is for the blue one? Blue think? raspberry. It's a very exotic fruit. Yeah, and this one I think it's a uh, coconut. Matisse <laughs> is on the fitness. He, she did it. Oh yeah, big run. He said, full oh, gas. Matisse. <laughs> Matisse is learning to cook. He really liked my onions, so. You know, he's cutting his own. Oh, oh. All right, yeah, good enough. Yeah, yeah. All right, that works too. Our boy is chefing it up. Butter, spices. He is yeah. on a health kick. Yeah, man, I have a bad news for you, Caleb. I'm quitting my job and I'm gonna start a restaurant next week. Oh, we'll be, yeah, so you'll be back with me next, uh, next mountain bike season. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, marinated flank steak is... Oh, money. Mm. It is Friday, three o'clock. We're waiting for course to open. And I'm laying here. Oh, I lost my food. I'm eating a JoJ bar in bed, and I'm gonna take a nap. It's been a very productive day. I, I can't remember what I did. No, that's not true. We watched Ted 2, we finished it. Sent some emails. Now we're gonna go ride the course. That, that's literally all that's happened today. What are you doing over there? Course laps are done. Challenge uh, Strata Balkanized 27s were mint at 55, 60 PSI. So mint, such, Very. such good tires. I'm ready for this fast course. Just kidding, challenge chicanes. I mean, shocker. Chicane. Shocker. Can you believe it? My love for chicanes knows no bounds, as oh, Andrew dear. Frank said. Not this Andrew. It's race day here in Rochester. Morning's been done, course free ride done. Skin suit's pinned up. We're gonna go put that puppy on and start our warm up here soon. Go, go, go! I get up, 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 up! Let's go, Mike! Up, up, up! Rochester C1 was a debacle. Just barely missed the front group of three or four because some people in front of me crashed. There was a lot of crashes yesterday. Got caught in between them and the chase group. Settled into the chase group, was riding well there. Um, and then got shuffled to the back, started to get gapped, started to dangle again. Um, and then, yeah, I think let's just work through the list of excuses, but yeah, legs just didn't have the legs. Back started to hurt. Crashed my bike, flatted, which then resulted in rolling a tubular. And yeah, I was just bleeding spot, spots and finished 13th. Just quite frankly, awful um, for my standards. Yeah, really just hit all the tick boxes of um, issues to have. It was just, yeah, one of those days where you can't seem to, everything seems to go wrong and you know, what can you do? Just besides continue to kind of suck. So I'm angry, I'm motivated. We're gonna get after it today. Another chance. It's a moody Rochester day. We're hitting the morning spin, 40 minutes on the path. And we'll chill, make some lunch, head to course. Oh yeah, we are fueling up. You already have mac and cheese on your chin. I do have a lot. <laughs> yeah, you would expect, but we are having, we are having fun. Bikes are locked and loaded. I just vacuumed out the van. Rochester day two report. Better, not great, but at least it was better than day one, which isn't saying much, but 
still. Upward uh, trending. Yeah, pre-road on chicanes because it was dry and ta tacky-ish. Kept raining. Should have just made the blanket decision to swap to muds, even though I hadn't ridden the sloppy course yet. And that was my first major mistake of the day. So most people made the decision to just slam the pressure with the full muds. I didn't. I should have. I paid the price for that. And the start lap was in like 20, outside of 20th place probably. I swapped swapped onto the Challenge Limus, got her into gear, started moving up, and rode up, I think as high as ninth place. Um, and I finished up 10th. Yeah. Definitely shot myself in the foot on lap one. Um, that kind of canned my race there. But I mean, mentally it was better. I only moved up, I was in it, I was fighting for it. And that was a lot better than day one where I had a lot of issues. So yeah, I mean, pretty poor weekend in Rochester, honestly. It's a course that suits me well. It performed really well there in the past. Podium last year, the C1. So to come away with two not even single digit finishes is pretty disappointing. But, as we always say, that's bike racing. I made the decision to come into the season with a lot of fitness and not a lot of intensity to play the long game for the big events. And, um, you know, sometimes you have to pay that price early and foot the bill. But, yeah, sitting eighth in the USCX series. We'll keep moving up. We'll get things back on track this weekend in Baltimore. And I know I'm capable of so much more physically and mentally. Um, and that's what counts. Special thank you to my boy Andy Dietz, who you saw plenty of in this video for being the hostess with the mostest, helping with cooking, doing laundry, washing bikes, drying bikes, washing the van, you name it. Great friend, great host, and bike racer. So, alrighty, we will see you in a week. And uh, yeah, I will plan on some better bike racing for my own sake and for your entertainment.